So this right here is my PlayStation external hard drive, which I don't actually use for my PlayStation, funnily enough. I use it for storing my files, my pictures, my videos, my documents, my games, my software, all of that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like my little archive external hard drive. However, I tried to plug it in the other day and it said the whole thing was corrupted. So I thought, oh, bloody hell, that's brilliant. So if you guys are having the same issue as me, let me show you how to quickly fix this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just on my file explorer and what I'm going to do is just go and plug in my external hard drive. So just plugging it in now. It's probably going to come up saying um, there's some error with the drive. So let me just give it a second. Okay, so there you go. So local disk E, you can see unlike my other drives, it's not really looking so good. I can't even see the storage space on it. So we're just going to double click on this and we're going to see which error we get. There you go. Location is not available. E is not accessible. The file or directory is corrupt and unreadable so that is brilliant because i've got some files on here which i really need to access so yeah we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix this thing so what we're going to do guys is we're going to go to the search we are then going to search for cmd also known as command prompt and we are going to run this as an administrator so obviously on this screen just click on yes and what you guys want to do is copy the commands i'm about to use so we are going to type in chk that's check then dsk for disk space then do slash f then do space again then enter in the letter of your drive so mine would be e then put in the little colon after it then just press on enter so it's just going to check your disk and it's basically going to find all of the errors wrong with it now once it gets to this part guys then we're just going to type in exit so e x i t then just press on enter and as you can see oh my god thank god for that it actually saved my files i'm going to censor this because this has got my own like video projects and stuff and family photos but yeah oh my god thank god i was able to get this back so there you go. It's a very simple trick. And I thought I'd make a little video out of this because I'm sure there's some people out there which encounter this and instead of trying to fix it to save their files, they just end up wiping their whole drive. And that seems like such a shame. No, I just want to say, right, to prevent this, every time you want to disconnect your drive, if you just click on the up arrow here, if you just click on the USB icon, as you can see, I'm using a uh, PS4 one. If you click on this and eject it properly, hopefully you won't run into this error again. So let me just go and click on it. There you go it ejects it nicely and yeah hopefully guys i can plug it back in just to show you and we shouldn't get that error anymore so let me just plug it in wait for the thing to load up there you go my archive is intact now if you guys tried this and it didn't work there is various free softwares online you can use to try and recover your data but honestly if this method didn't work um yeah i'm gonna be honest it's not really looking good one thing you can do if you type in hard disk is you can see if it pops up in the create and format hard disk partitions so if you just click on this it should show up here so my one would have popped up as disk 2 there you go so yeah because uh my laptop i'm using right now has got two ssds and then obviously that's my external hard drive so disk 2 you can see it's healthy it's looking okay if your hard drive is like completely messed up you can like right click it delete the volume format it and then wipe it but honestly yeah hopefully you can get it working if you have an ssd or a hard drive which is playing up back up as much data as you can off of it and then probably just get a new one you know there's not much point messing about with faulty hard drives.